The Extensor Digitorum Longus The Extensor Digitorum Longus lies in the anterior extensor compartment of the leg. There are four muscle compartments in the leg. The anterior compartment of the leg, the lateral compartment, the superficial posterior compartment, and the deep posterior compartment. There are four muscles in the anterior compartment of the leg. All these muscles are supplied by the deep perineal nerve. This is the nerve that is present within this anterior compartment. These are the four muscles that are located in the extensor anterior compartment of the leg. The tibialis anterior, the extensor hallucis longus, the extensor digitorum longus, and the preneus tertius muscle. As a reminder to you, the deep perineal nerve is the nerve that will give you numbness in the first web space if that nerve is injured. The extensor digitorum longus arises from the lateral tibial condyle from the upper three-fourths of the fibula and the interosseous membrane The extensor digitorum longus insert into the middle and the distal pharynges of the lateral four toes. The muscle makes a tendon above the superior extensor retinaculum, and this tendon passes under the superior extensor retinaculum and the inferior extensor retinaculum. Then it divides into four tendons below the inferior extensor retinaculum. These tendons are inserted into the middle and the terminal phalanges of the lateral four toes. Function is dose deflection of the ankle and extension of the lateral four toes. The big toe is more medial than the other toes of the foot so the extensor hallucis longus is more medial than the extensor digitorum longus. The relationship of the muscle to the anterior tibial artery. The anterior tibial artery pierces the interosseous membrane or goes above the interosseous membrane to enter into the extensor compartment or the anterior compartment of the leg. It runs proximally between the tibialis anterior medially and the extensor digitorum longus laterally. The extensor digitorum longus arises from the upper three-fourths of the anterior fibula. So it is logical to assume that the anterior tibial artery lies between the tibialis anterior and the extensor digitorum longus. Then, all of a sudden, the extensor hallucis longus appears. So, the anterior tibial artery lies between the tibialis anterior muscle and the extensor hallucis longus muscle. The extensor hallucis longus muscle that appears all of a sudden arises from the middle two-fourths of the anterior fibula. And the extensor hallucis longus then crosses the leg medially to take a position in the medial side to go to the big toe. Just remember, the digitorum will go to the lateral four toes and the anterior tibial artery will be between these two muscles, the hallucis and the digitorum in the distal part of the leg and in front of the ankle. So when the extensor hallucis longus tendon crosses the leg to go medially, it then crosses the anterior tibial artery.
That point, the anterior tibial artery, is between the extensor hallucis medially and the extensor digitorum longus laterally. At the level of the ankle joint, this is how we remember arrangement of the anterior ankle structures. Tom has a very nice dog. T for tibialis anterior, H for the hallucis, V for vessels, N for nerve, and dog is for the digitorum, the extensor digitorum longus. This is only good to help you to remember the structures in the distal part of the tibia in front of the ankle. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.